one Ohio State without the suspended Chase Young hosting Maryland this afternoon. Brutus in a good mood. Buckeyes wasting no time setting the agenda today. First quarter, Justin Fields underneath to Ben Victor. A 12-yard touchdown pass. OSU quickly in the lead. Later in the first, now 14-zip OSU. Kicking off, and the Buckeyes, Blake Alville, perfectly placed onside kick. Chris Olave runs under it. Ohio State not messing around. Ensuing drive, Fields to K.J. Hill. A four-yard TD. Buckeyes with the 21-0 lead as the Terps could not do anything offensively. Buckeyes first drive of the second quarter. Fields to Olave, 28-0. Fields only plays one half, 16 of 25 for 200 yards passing. Also added a rushing TD, not too shabby. Like his quarterback star running back J.K. Dobbins only played in the first half. Weaving his way through traffic. Dobbins 90 yards on 12 carries, two scores. It's 42-0 at halftime. All Buckeyes today, 73-14 the final. A season-high 705 yards of offense for Ohio State. Central Catholic Zach Hoover even got into the game today as the holder on the final two PAT attempts. As Mark Hoots reports, one year after allowing 51 points to Maryland, the Buckeyes, without their top defensive player, only allow 139 yards. No Chase Young, no problems for the Ohio State Buckeyes as the number one team in the nation blew out the Maryland Terrapins. Now, some of the decisions by Ryan Day in the first half, the onside kick in the first quarter, the timeouts late in the second quarter, led some to conjecture that perhaps there was some bad blood between the Buckeyes and the Terrapins, perhaps tracing back to the Chase Young suspension. But Day said that's not the case. That was just Ohio State being aggressive. No, that, that, nothing like that at all. Nope, that wasn't anything uh, other than just I mean, we're always going to be aggressive in the first half. I mean, I, I feel like when you're playing the first half of any game, anything could happen in the second half. So by no means uh, would I ever try to run up a score at all. It's just, you know, we're letting our guys play. And uh, so, no, that, that would be completely out of line. You know, uh, Chase is dealing with, with a situation that, uh, you know, we're all supporting him with. And, uh, you know, once we get some clarity on, on what's going on, then we'll deal with it from there. But until then, we focus on the team the best we can. You know, we're supporting him and, and he's supporting us and, and we're going to get through it together. And, and uh, he knows we have his back and that's important. You know, we, like, it was shocking for us, you know, but, you know, we love our brother. So, you know, we were, we were along his side throughout the whole process. He's going through a tough time, but again, adversity, uh, you know, reveals character. And uh, I can tell you right now, he's uh, a special young man that, uh, that's handling his business the right way. And we're all proud of him. Even without Young, the defensive line still dominated seven sacks as true freshman Zach Harrison got the start in Young's place. It was a dream come true. You know, as a kid, you grow up watching the Buckeyes play, and you're like, well, and now I'm out there starting for him. It's a good feeling. This is a team here. It was 52-51 last year in an absolute uh, you know, fight into the fourth quarter. And I think our defense was tired of hearing about that for a year. So it was fresh on their minds, and I think we had a lot of respect for this team coming into the game because of that game that we played last year. And uh, so we, we started fast, and I thought we played well throughout the game. It wasn't even a revenge thing. It was just, you know, we just got business to take care of. And we felt like they were just remembering the game from last year, and we just had to prove to them that we're a different team. This is a new year. So we just wanted to go out with an edge and an attitude and just go out and take care of business. We still had a bad taste in our mouth from last year. You know, he, um, he alone almost rushed for 300 yards. So, you know, um, we had just stopped the best runner act, you know, that was – at the time, you know, so we, we just had the same attitude as we had last week. Next up for the Buckeyes should be another easy game next Saturday as they travel to Rutgers for a 3:30 kickoff. Now we don't know at this time whether or not Chase Young will be eligible to play against the Scarlet Knights. There were reports earlier today that Ohio State was expecting a four-game suspension, but Ohio State spokesman saying today that report is not accurate. In Columbus, Smart Coons, BCSN.